Hi, this is Steve Sincere here to tell you a little bit about how a screen enclosure behaves in a hurricane. Your screen enclosure might do something like this during a hurricane. However, let's go over some of the basics first. There are three things that will determine how your screen enclosure will behave in a hurricane. Number one, the frame design. Number two, connection strength. And number three, direction of the wind. Many frames are designed by contractors, not engineers. There's a loophole in the Florida building code that allows them to use an approved design manual. These manuals prescribe what sizes of material to use for every piece in the frame. They have a lot of tables in there, but all of them are based on oversimplified assumptions of behavior. These manuals prescribe how much bracing is required, which are the diagonal pieces that are in your enclosure. And these manuals are subject to interpretation. Of course, the contractor's incentive is profit margin, so keep that in mind. The rest of the frames are designed by engineers, but of course these engineers are hired by contractors. Most engineers use the same oversimplified assumptions that you'll find in the design manuals. They design individual pieces as though they were isolated and not part of a large complicated framework where pieces interact with each other. These designs usually only involve assuming the wind blows in one direction, maybe two. And the engineer's incentive is to keep the income stream going by keeping their contractor customers happy. Connections are the nuts and bolts and other miscellaneous hardware to hold the individual pieces of the frame together and anchor it to your house and patio. These are usually designed for ease of assembly and often designed for contractor preference. In many cases, there can be upwards of 2,000 pounds or more of force on these connections. And if these connections aren't strong enough to hold this kind of load, they'll fail. And failure can have a domino effect on the rest of your frame. Hurricane winds are unpredictable and can hit your enclosure from any direction. And even then, once the eye passes, the wind can change direction 180 degrees. In addition, wind tunnel testing has shown that there can be an updraft or a downdraft on the roof of your enclosure. So to make sure that you have an enclosure that can survive all of this, it needs to be designed for all directions of the wind. So the following are a few computer animations of, of how a typical screen enclosure reacts in a hurricane. All the movement you see is exaggerated for effect, however the parts that you see turning red are considered overstressed, which means they're likely to fail under these conditions. This is the condition that most screen enclosures are designed to. This is wind hitting it straight on with some updraft or downdraft in the roof. Wind pushing down has a much different effect than the wind pulling up, as you can see in this animation. But if the eye passes, the wind will be pulling the enclosure off the house as opposed to pushing it against the house. And then you can get a downdraft on the roof as well. But what happens when the wind blows sideways? This is typically problematic for screen enclosures considering the way they're designed. The diagonal pieces in the framework usually take a lot of load and buckle. This causes the entire structure to fold over sideways. These type of failures are not hard to understand once you consider the way that these structures are designed. So what can you do to prepare if a hurricane is approaching your enclosure? Well, unfortunately, you're stuck with the frame that you've got. Making sure all the connections are in good shape will help, but there are other things that people will advise you to do. Now, removing screens is a crapshoot. You're never really sure how many you need to remove, which ones you need to remove, what's the effect going to be on your roof, and what's it going to cost to repair when you pull all these screens out. 
And there's no guarantee that this is going to work. There are a lot of companies that are also advertising add-on braces and tie-downs and other kind of gimmicks. These typically haven't been proven through rigorous analysis, testing, or actual storm survival. And you probably won't find anybody that's going to guarantee that their gimmick will save your enclosure. So the best solution is to get your enclosure designed right the first time. So for information on the next generation of screen enclosure that actually can hold up to hurricanes, please click the click here button down below or give me a call at 772-486-5425. Thank you.